This video I'm going to show you today how I braze copper into more detail. If you haven't seen one of my other videos, I do recommend going back and watching the basics. But primarily, we are discussing HVAC and refrigeration. Now, I am pointing at some couplings, some 45s, some 90s. And here, I am pointing at a little, small, telescoping mirror, which is vital for this application. Here I've already got the 90 brazed on one side and I cut off a little piece of tubing here and I'm going to be inserting it in here and I'm showing you also how clean everything is. It's important to make sure that everything is clean. It makes your job trying to braze a lot more easier when everything is clean so just double check everything, take your time, and make sure everything is clean again before you start brazing. I cannot stress that enough. Here is a straight brazing rod. And one of the things that I like to do always before I braze is I will put a little heat right there. As you can see at the joint, and I will make my own 90 in the brazing rod. And if you're wondering what kind of brazing rods that I use, I suggest going back and watching one of my other videos. And I describe into exact detail on some of the brazing rods that I use. And I believe that they are called Dynaflux. So, but at the end of this video, if you want to know more, I would suggest going and clicking on one of my other videos. And I, you can go over the basics on how to set everything up. But this is, uh, I would say, a little bit more of the next step. Now I like making sure that the pipe is hot. In the video it looks like it's more orange than what it actually is in reality. But as soon as it starts to turn orange, you know that you can start laying everything down. And you don't want to get it too hot. And you don't want to have just a little bit of heat either. You want everything to be just about right, and you'll be able to know uh, when that is. When everything turns to an orange glow, it's basically ready to put on. As you can see here, where I laid the brazing rod down, the 90 is almost already gone that you saw me make earlier. And it really helped for getting on the other side that I can't see. And here I'm shaking my finger as in thinking that you are done without checking it with the mirror. You always want to check it with a mirror. It will save you a lot of time down the road. And I don't care if you're a veteran. If you're 95 years old and you're still brazen pipe, you should always check your brazes with a mirror. Because there are going to be pinholes here and there that are going to pop up. You're going to try to pull a vacuum and you're going to waste a lot of time had you should have checked. Either that or you may pressure check with nitrogen to see if there's any leaks. But this in general is going to save you a lot of time regardless. So what I'm doing is I'm going around and I'm checking very thoroughly trying to hold the mirror and the camera at the same time so you can see. If you notice, I kind of twist the mirror just a little bit because I'm trying to see to where, to make sure that there's a consistency in the braze. And if you ever notice, if there is a pinhole, you will see a little inconsistency. And sometimes you can make a mistake and think that there is a pinhole when actu actuality there's really not. But if you twist the mirror just a little bit at certain angles, you can tell. And I go over this very thoroughly with the telescoping mirror. It is essential. And as you can see, everything is braised properly. And it looks good. And if this was on a job, I would definitely go through with it. Here is a coupling that I wanted to go ahead and braise on and show you another uh, example of what it looks like uh, with the mirror 
and how important it is uh, to check everything with the mirror because there's a lot of times when you're at odd angles too as well uh, on your knees or upside down and you cannot see the braids that you had braised so that this mirror is essential as you can see I'm going around very thoroughly checking everything with the mirror and a lot of times I will I will push it in or out uh, depending on the area that I'm looking at and this mirror does go in all different types of directions